Hello YouTube, good morning, um, well, actually, uh, might not be the morning from when you're watching, but, um, today I have come to you, as you probably see by the video's net title, um, with a Redstone Saturday, today I'm showing you, um, a hidden staircase I've made, very elementary one, um, as you can see when we put this lever down, you can go into our hideaway and get a chest with absolutely nothing in it, and come back disappointed, but, um, so, here we have it, that's basically it's really it's it's one of the simplest contraptions I've ever made on this channel. Probably goes about to be the simplest uh, contraption I've ever made on this channel. It's just twelve pistons. Uh, you can make this in your survival world, creative world, whatever you want. Um, uses no command locks. It's redstone. So let's crack on with this tutorial. I hope this lag will go away. So basically, as you can see, essentially we have um when I. I'm just going to quickly kind of show you how it works. I believe it, the block is right here. We basically have just a bunch of pistons that push out these blocks right here. Um, there's a piston lighting bug. Um, and that fills in the uh, two wide tunnels. So we're going to show you how to build this. So let's um, go out, find an empty space. Right, so we're going to want to start off by sort of making little tunnel that we are going to build this in so we're gonna want um, something like this this is sort of essentially this is a staircase right here um, you could have a continuous pathway running along for hundreds or thousands of blocks whatever you want this can be an entrance to your base secret base dash of diamonds but um so um, now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to place in the pistons so essentially these pistons what they're going to do is they're going to um they're going to um push in the blocks to fill in this area in the center right here to make it so that there's no pathway um we're gonna want to do the same thing on the other side right here um we're gonna want like three blocks like that um then we're gonna want some more pistons down here and on top of that you're gonna want this last one down here so um, now, when you power all of these pistons, this will close. Now, the circuit that we need to build is we need to make a, we need to build a circuit that will power all of these pistons. So you can start out by doing something like this, and as you can see, when we power this, the five out of the six of them run, and that's really annoying. Um, as you can see, so these, this can only reach um, a certain distance. So all really left of the circuit for this side is we need to make a redstone signal that powers this piston down here at the bottom. So, um, we can make something that looks a little bit like this, running down here, like that, like so. Um, so now, as you can see, when we power this, we have one fully functioning side of our, um, of, of our hidden stairway. Um, so, we could just pop over to the other side and do the same thing. It's literally the same exact story. Um, we run something like this in, as you can see, when you power this, only five of six of them work, really annoying. Um, and then, however, if we do something like that, and, um, run that down, hold on, that was an accident. And if we run that down in, you should see a fully functioning piston side, and if we run both of them, virtually the floor that's going to become our hidden staircase uh or the the, the area that's going to be filled in when we power our hidden staircase so um when we um so as you can see if we kind of cover up this then it sort of disguises the way it looks a bit and you have no idea there is anything in the floor right down here until you power both of these off and open the hidden staircase um However, we are not nearly done. Um, what we we still need to do many things, such as, well, probably cover up this hidden part right here. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be a hidden staircase. Um, and also, what we need to do is we need to hook up these two levers to a single lever. So as you can see, when we um, run this, we have nothing. When we power these both off, we have a fully open stairway. But like I said, you still have to power both of those off, so that is not what you want. If you pop over here, you might be able to see something about how we did that. Um, so, what you're gonna want is, you're gonna want, like, a lever, like, 
wh what you're going to want is you're actually going to want this to be powered by default. Or in other words, you are going to want a knock gate. So let me get rid of that slam block and replace that with a redstone torch. So, this redstone torch um, will be um, going up into there. As you can see, when we power that, one side is powered. And when we power this, the other side will get powered. Um, and the cool thing about that is, you could wire that up to a center block. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. You have to make sure that you don't break some that you don't break some certain blocks in which have um, redstone torches or anything attached to them. So, um, let's see. So you're gonna want something that goes down a little bit, probably. Um, that or or some kind of way of powering it. You can make a lot of this up on your own. This is sort of like a, you could really do it yourself. I'm really just giving you the main way, the, the sort of the structure of it. So as you can see, when we power this, um, hold on. If we, um, I believe that isn't hooked up. Oh yeah, that's because we uh, broke that block. And uh, let me change the weather back. Um, and so as you can see, when we power that single lever. All of that opens, and all of that closes, and there is a glitch there. Oh, right, yeah, I've encountered this glitch before. So, essentially, what's happening is, this piston is being powered by this piece of redstone dust right here. Which is a problem, obviously. Um, so, what you're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need to do a bit of rewiring. You can see how I did it over here. Um, so the lever goes up here, and... Um, I believe the lever goes up there. No, the lever goes right here. Right. So, and as you can see, when you power that, it fully opens. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need to put the knot gate not over here. Um, you are actually going to put need to put the knot gate right over here. Um, right, like, around there, approximately. And then you could run that redstone like that. So, as you can see, now that one works, and, um, over here, I believe, you cannot have it there, and this is sort of a problem, obviously, um, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna sort of need to connect these two, and wire that over, um, hold on, yes, and I believe that should do it, so now if we, no, that doesn't do it, um, so, Oh, yeah, so what you need to do is you need to do something like this. As you can see, that's also a knock gate right there. Um, and so, once you have that hooked in, we should see um, this open up and this close. You could, like I said, do this like in many multi you could do this in many in a multitude of ways, um, such as if you want to make this symmetrical, which I certainly like, you could um place you could place the um knot gate right over there too. Run that redstone in. To believe that would theoretically work. And there you go. That's basically your um that's your elementary guide to the hidden stairway. Um like I said it won't be that hard to make as you can see if we don't have anything there that should power off. Yes it does. Um and so as you can see now we have our pathway until to what seems like a dead end until you find this and you go inside and get a chest with nothing in it i hope that you have enjoyed this video uh build this in your base i would gladly appreciate it um show some support uh comment like subscribe if you love this um thank you for watching i hope you have a good day and i hope that this redstone contraption the hidden the elementary hidden uh s staircase comes in handy um, have a good day, and I'm out. See you later.